Hi guys, how are you doing? Today we are going to look at how to create animation of a car which looks like this. Okay, uh, so in the first uh, animation assignment we saw how to move an object to create animation in the car race. Uh, in this video, uh, in this animation, we are going to create uh, motion for the car which is moving and the wheels which are rotating and also the cart is going up and down because of the uh, moving motion of the cart. Uh, we will learn how to model the object and then we will look at uh, how to create a rig uh, because there are multiple moving parts in this uh, assignment you will have to create a rig so that you can select individual uh, objects and animate them separately okay so the cart is moving uh, forward and backward it is uh, rotating up and down and then the wheels are rotating so these are the moving parts how to put it all together and uh, the other thing is that all the objects are moving together okay I also thought about how I can make the cart look like a cartoon cart and made some sketches so it is always a good idea to think up your ideas do some sketches and then get started with the uh, modeling okay so first we will look at how to create the wheel okay if you look at the wheel basically there are multiple circles in the wheel We need to see the wheel rotating so I wanted to create uh, a wheel uh, where you can visually see the rotation of the wheel if it is a cylinder then you won't be seeing the rotation so I created some uh, unconventional wheel here and also in the process I'm going to show you some modeling techniques okay so let us get started so what I'm doing is I'm using a 2d shape called a circle all right so we'll create one circle and then if you create another circle and another circle multiple circles are created okay so what we are going to do is select this one deselect start new shape and create new circles so I'm going to create a circle inside here I can create a circle here I can create a circle here okay so multiple circles can be created and they are all now one object okay so if you now if you look at here it is it says editable spline it is not a circle anymore if you just create a circle and go to modify panel it says circle but if you create another one then in the modifier panel it automatically becomes an editable spline it is not a circle anymore so this editable spline has vertex segment and spline as their sub objects vertex is the vertex that you can select and move segment is one line between the two vertices and spline is the entire spline okay so we just need to move this spline a little up so it is not touching and there's a gap here and then you can then decide what should be the location of your other objects so that it is well aligned so either it can be close or far away okay so I have four maybe you have three or you have some other design okay the other way to create a wheel could be you have a rectangle okay uh, we needed to create one object so I'll select this create a rectangle how about looking at a star okay so this looks cool too
okay and now this is one object and the wheel cannot stay like this so what we will do is we will select the spline here and we are going to use offset option or it's called the outline so if you click and drag inside or outside it creates the wheel and then we just want it to be on this line here okay so what we need to do now is hmm, select this control select this control select this we just want these are a problem okay so I have to select this one this 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 okay and then we are going to chamfer it okay and then I'll select this spline and I will scale it inside okay so we just need to get rid of these lines here okay So what we are going to do is we are going to select the vertex and we are going to use the refine option refine and we're going to refine at these okay turn the refine off go to segment select these two segments delete them select these delete select these delete select these delete delete and delete okay now we need to weld these so you can just select them and find the weld option see the, how the weld tool works is you can select multiple and then when you drag this number up okay then the selected vertices within this distance is going to weld okay so if you increase the number <clears throat> and this would be your wheel all you need to do is add an extrude modifier okay and then you need to decide the thickness of the wheel same with this one you need extrude modifier 
so that way you are able to create the wheels okay now the next thing is to create this car okay for that I used a box And then it has multiple segments. I'm using three each. Okay. <clears throat> and then we're going to convert it to editable poly. And then we're going to select the top faces and delete them. Okay. Don't worry about uh, the color inside. We will add thickness to it later on, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, so we are going to sculpt this now. Okay. <clears throat> so this is like a cartoonish card. So we have uneven surfaces. You can scale, move, okay, this is less, this is going up like this, this is less, this is going in this direction, okay, and then you can then kind of smoothen them up, okay. So I did move the middle ones closer and things like that. So let us do that. I selected the middle ones and scaled it closer. And that's about it this looks good enough if you want to add some more detail in x-axis you can do that and if you want to do it in y-axis so in all angles it is so give it a basic shape that you like okay so this has to be following a specific topology so it looks correct <coughs> excuse me And then we are going to add a shell modifier to do this to get thickness. Okay, you can see now the blackness is gone and you can have a thickness to it. Okay, and then the thickness is even across. And then on you can see that there are things that are not aligning up properly. So if you want to do further little bit of refinement you add edit poly okay you can convert the entire thing into editable poly but then if you want to go down and make changes you won't be able to do that so we'll simply just move this in line here move these in line I think that looks pretty good enough for us to worry about much it's not a perfect model to spend too much time on anyways 
all right so that's about it so you are oh, the handle so we will move it here and the handle came out of these two so this one control this one and we use insert Okay, and then we will scale the inset they are rotating in the reverse direction so we will not rotate it so basically we got these two faces we may have to select one at a time and rotate it so it aligns with the is there okay and then we need to extrude them okay so later on uh, we can also put a human being here in, in here who is pulling this cart that we can we can make a character uh, who is pulling the cart Okay, uh, and then you can decide if you want these to be coming close to each other or staying apart like in my case it's not that important okay so I will delete this one and I'm going to use this one as our wheel <coughs> okay So we need to find the center of this to create the center rod which is this rod here it's mainly visual than anything else uh, we need a cylinder we click and drag i'm assuming the center is somewhere here <coughs> but to find the center what we'll do is we'll create a cylinder the same size that approximately same size and then we will simply add a cap segment so that will give us the center and now you can select this one and move it in the center you don't need the cylinder delete it <coughs> so you can see this has to come this side we will need to copy this And in the modify panel we will give it a long height okay it's going through the box we'll simply move the box up okay all right so you can see that the cart is ready okay similar to this one now what we need to do is uh, we need to create the you will see that there is some something here i select it and the whole thing moves okay uh, it is called a gizmo it's called it's a box gizmo so it's just a handle uh, for you to it's an object uh, which doesn't render so it's just a helper it helps us to get things done and does not bother us by uh, coming in the render 